Hey guys, this is Kevin.、Uh, today we're going to work on a HP OfficeJet Pro 8620. The problem with this one is when you start up,、uh, it's going to show you some crashed problem.、Uh, that's easy, right? Must be contact or something. However, the thing is, when you start up, it doesn't make a noise. Again, when you start, you're supposed to hear some gear spinning, but this one directly go to this air. Let's see it. Let's see that again. So you don't hear the page feed motor, and you don't hear the printhead carriage with carriage motor. And if you open the door, the printer know you open the door, but it doesn't move the printhead to to the left. So you you can you'll be able to change the cartridges. So you can see nothing happens inside. So you go into a loop. If you open the door, it tell you to close the door. If you close the door, it says change cartridge, open the door. Isn't that fun?、Uh, anyway,、uh, I'm going to cut this、uh, video into、uh, two or three pieces. Okay. Today I'm going to show you first thing I found really interesting about this printer.、Uh, the printer lock,、uh, the printer、uh, carriage is not locked. So I was, I was able to just move to the left using my hand. And、uh, I took the cartridge out, and they seem to have like half of a tank left. It's genuine HP cartridge, so I am assuming uh, that uh, the, read the reading on the chip is is the half tank. So it doesn't seem the cartridge problem. So I reset the cartridges and、I、restart again, and、uh, problem still there. I also took a look of the contact points, and it seems there are no broken pins, anything. So I raised the lever and took the whole、uh, printhead carriage out, and I found some like plastics and、uh, aluminum foils underneath. That's kind of weird. Uh, the uh, the customer bought this on eBay, and、uh, she doesn't know the history of it. So,、uh, if you never took a, a carriage par apart,、um, so let's do, do a venture together. Take this carriage apart and find out what what's those aluminum foils.、Uh, almost all the screws are OBT eight, so、uh, there are only two screws are smaller. The thirty six screws. So I'm gonna remove、uh, six T8 screws, two in the back or you call the front, and、uh, there should be four on the top. And you wanna check that FFC white cable, make sure it's secure. Sometimes the problem is that cable wasn't、uh, pushing all the way, and、uh, this one seems to be okay. And just visually check the CSIC board. Make sure it's clean. There's no ink spill, and this one looks perfect.、Uh, this cable is kind of loose. I don't know if I pulled it out when I uninstall it, or was the HP didn't didn't insert it, insert it correctly.、Uh, I'll just take a mental note, and、uh, that should be it.、Uh, now I'm checking each pin. Just make sure、uh, that、uh, they are intact. So I push them down, make sure they spring back. Now I change the drive bit to two to six, and、uh, remove those two T six screws. And now we're going to reveal the mystery of、uh, those aluminum foils and plastics. I think I need、uh, some kind of drum roll here. Oh, I forgot. I put the cable back. Okay, unplug it, and here it is. What are those craps? Oh boy, this really brings back the memories.、Uh, you know, after you refill cartridge, there are two ways to deal with the、uh, ink level、uh, on your computer.、Uh, one is uh, like uh, the HP DexJet、uh, series. That you have、uh, three or four cartridges, just rotate them.、Uh, the printer re remembers、uh, three sets of cartridges. So 
when you rotate the fourth cartridge, the printer says, oh, this is full cartridge. Another one is the OfficeJet, uh, up to OfficeJet 8500. Uh, the, the HP use something called a GRI uh, chip. That is, after you use up the, uh, the ink, the printer can ask you, uh, are you still going to use the cartridge? You say yes, and the ink level turns gray, and uh, the HP will not bother you again, and you can just print forever with uh, a grayed out cartridge ink level. However, when the HP come up with 8600 series, nobody can figure out how to reset the ink, the, the ink level. You know, by law, in the US, uh, it, HP has to let people use third-party car, third-party refilled cartridges, and they already got sued and they lost. So there got to be a way to let the printers keep printing after re refilled cartridge. Well, so I tried uh, to get different sets and rotate them. That didn't work. Actually, I broke the printer because I got too many sets to rotate. That's another story. Anyway, uh, there's a person that I. Uh, uh, maybe a second level connection. I know somebody, I know somebody, and this guy is from Brazil, and uh, he sent off a couple pictures, which he shorted those uh, two uh, springs. He just cut a uh, copper wire and uh, uh, make it into a, like a shape, like a staples, and uh, pull the to connect those two pins. Uh, he claimed he sold uh, 20,000 printers, and all of them are refillable. Anyway, so uh, I tried it, didn't work. I tried another one, didn't work, so I just gave up on this method. So if you have any information about this method, please uh, leave a comment. Uh, where did you learn it? Did it work? Is it an urban le legend, or is it something real? Uh, my guys is urban legend, uh, or maybe I, I maybe I got left out. Okay, uh, leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com on the lo uh, or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Oh, by the way, uh, I removed the uh, aluminum foil and uh, put it back and didn't fix the problem. I guess uh, it's for another day. Okay, cheers.